my mom was an entrepreneur. She was kind of my inspiration for entrepreneurship. She, uh, uh, she was originally a nurse, and then she um, did nonprofit work. She was president of the UJA in Sacramento, the United Jewish uh, Appeal, I think it was called. And then she opened a bakery, and then a second bakery, and then a restaurant. And where is this? Where did she open? Sacramento. In Sacramento. Sacramento. Okay. And she um, she bought a computer because she wanted to computerize her business. Wow. Um, and so I started playing with it when I was young. It was an IBM XT. It was the first ever IBM to ship within a hard drive. It had a 10 meg hard drive, and that was like the coolest thing ever because you didn't have to swap floppy drives anymore. And I don't know why, but she bought Lotus 1, 2, 3, and I had learned Lotus and VisiCalc before it, and I learned how to program. Just on your own. Yeah, I learned, I oh. bought a book, and I learned how to program macros and build spreadsheets. And This is at what age? Uh, like 14. Okay. And, uh, and as a result, I got a job in a computer store in okay. high school. Uh, and before you think I was a complete nerd, um, in addition to making money uh, selling software, which I did at 15, 16 years old, I also made money throwing keg parties. Sure. And uh, we had these vans and mobile kegs in the back, and we would go to golf courses. And, and the big decision for us was, do you have three kegs or four kegs, and do you charge $2 a head or $3 a head? And if you got too many kegs, you didn't make enough money, not enough kegs, you had a lot of angry people chasing you. Sure. And, and too many kegs, and then too many people found out. And well, no, the hope was that the police would bust the party before you actually ran out of beer, right? So <laughs> I'm not joking. 